Just wanted to make a couple of comments on this bill. And uh, I've had an opportunity in the last several months to do a little traveling around the state, and I've talked to a lot of people. And I think that this bill that we have is very representative of what a lot of people believe is wrong with government and wrong with state government. And I think that we should pay attention, that there is an opportunity for people to vote this year. And I think they're observing what we're doing here. And I think we ought to be clear that what we're doing is going to find disapproval, I believe, among a, a lot of people in the state of Minnesota. Because what we're doing, I believe, is we're spending money, first of all, that we don't have. And we've been doing that at the federal level for a long time, and there's been a very, very strong reaction to that, and I think there's a strong reaction in this state if we do the same thing. Senator Ortman pointed out, we have budgeted for a certain amount of spending to be done for bonding, and we are disregarding that, and we're going to spend more anyway. Even though we haven't addressed the $1.2 billion deficit that we know we have right now, we haven't dealt with that at all, and we're going to spend more money. And I think people around the state of Minnesota look at that and they say, what are you guys thinking? What are you doing? Why don't you deal with first things first? Solve the budget problem, then do the spending. But we're doing it the other way around. And I think, too, some of the comments that were made on this bill about, you know, we should pass the bill because there's some good projects in your district or good projects in your district as if this is some kind of a goodie bag that we're going to hand out to members and say, well, let's vote for the bill so we can all take some goodies home to our district, regardless of whether they have real impact for the state or whether they are in the best interest of the state of people of the state of Minnesota. I think people look at that and they say, this isn't right. We've seen this happen at the federal level all the time. This is not what government is for. It's not to hand out goodies to certain members who have powerful influence in the process and that they get goodies and other people don't get goodies. This isn't how government works. I think people expect a bonding bill to be about things that are in the best interest of the state of Minnesota, and that's what we are all elected to do. Not represent our district parochially, but to represent the interests of the people of the state of Minnesota. I think people look at this and they say, what are you doing? And the third thing that we have heard a lot of talk about is how this is not a bonding bill, it's a jobs bill. And I would just respectfully disagree with that. The purpose of a bonding bill is to do things to invest the state's money, to take money from the private sector, spend it at the state level for things that have a long-term interest and benefit to the state of Minnesota. It's not primarily about creating jobs. It is true if we do this and if we do it wisely, there will be some jobs created. But that's not the point. That's not why we pass bonding bills, is just so we can create jobs. And I think people of the state of Minnesota know that too. Because when we take money out of the private sector, let's remember, when we spend money at the state level, government level, what do we, where do we get that money? We get the money from the private sector first. We have to take the money first before we can spend it. And I think if you read economists, they will tell you that, that every time you do that, every dollar that you take out of the private sector, there are jobs lost because the private sector economy spends money more efficiently than the public sector. And so when we do things, we do them because they are in the best interest of the people of the state of Minnesota that can't be done in any other way. But if it's about jobs, let the private sector do the job creation, and the way we do that is make sure we don't take too much money out of the private sector. And I think the people of the state of Minnesota understand that as well. And so when we talk about, well, we're just doing this to create jobs, I think people look at us and they say, that doesn't make any sense. And I guess the last comment I would make is that there's been some talk about the process and how we all agreed or thought we agreed that we were going to pass a great big bonding bill with all these goodies in it and all these things and we were going to do this. And then we were going to let, and I don't want to violate Mason's rules of orders, but we're going to let somebody else do the hard work of deciding what stays in and what stays out. And I'd say, no, that's our job. We talk about what the job of the legislature is, and our job is to make those hard decisions. But we're saying, no, no, we're going to pass all these things so we can satisfy all the people that we've made promises to, and then we'll let somebody else make the hard decision about what projects get cut so we can live within our budget. And then we're going to complain about that, some of us, when that gets done, because the things that got taken out weren't the right things or who knows what. But we ought to do that. That's our job. We ought to decide what our budget is, as Senator Ortman pointed out, create a bonding bill that's within that budget limit, and then we send that bill down to the other person to get that signed. So members, all I would say is we should not vote on this bill. I'm sorry that Senator Limmer's motion did not get approved. It needs to go back for further work. But if that's not going to happen, then we ought to vote no on this bill and start over again. Thank you.